Hello everyone and welcome to EduSearch Clinics. Today we are going to discuss a very important trial that was presented recently in ESCO 2025 and it relates to colon cancer management and basically deals with rejected stage 3 colon cancer. So this trial is trying to incorporate immunotherapy as an adjuvant. There are also multiple trials that are trying to incorporate immunotherapy into neoadjuvant. As we already know, stage 2 and 3 colon cancer, predominantly we reject it up front and for adjuvant chemotherapy, in stage 3, we know that all or nearly most patients will get adjuvant chemotherapy. Whereas in stage 2, only high-risk patients get adjuvant therapy. We never give chemotherapy in stage 2 when the patients are mismatch repair deficient or microsatellite instability high. We will see what these two terms mean because it is important as far as atomic trial is considered to understand that this trial is limited to this subgroup of patients. Why we don't give chemotherapy in this subgroup of patients? Because they usually have resistance to this therapy and there is worse five-year overall survival across data. So what are the currently used standard regimens in rejected stage 2 or 3 colon cancer? We give Folfox or Capox. Usual duration is six months. Omit oxaliplatin in stage 2 or when patients is greater than 70 years old. This is based on the mosaic trial. Low risk stage 3, that is T1, 2, 3 and N1 disease. 3 months KPOX is non-inferior to 6 months KPOX. This is the IDEA trial. It was published in NEJM in 2018. High risk, that is T4 and or N2. So remember in stage 3, you have two groups. In stage 2, you have two groups. So in stage 2, we essentially want to differentiate between MSI high and MS stable vis-a-vis -vis in stage 3, N1 is low risk whereas N2 and T4 are high risk and these need full 6 months of KPOX or FOLFOX again as per the IDEA trial. So now coming to some basics for the atomic trial, when we come to stage 3 colon cancer, whenever there is deficient mismatch repair, what that means is that there is a failure of the DNA mismatch repair system. So this will result in multiple errors in the DNA sequences and that is what leads to microsatellite instability or MSI high. So deficient mismatch repair is more or less equivalent to microsatellite instability high. So colorectal cancers can be two groups. MSI high or deficient mismatch repair genes. When they are right-sided, they show better prognosis and respond well to immunotherapy. Now, why do we write both these terms, deficient mismatch repair as well as MSI high? It's just that their testing is done differently. Deficient MMR is seen on immunohistochemistry. If you have seen the reports, they will write loss of MMR proteins like MLH1, MSH2, MSH6 and PMS2 or MSI which is done PCR based assay or next generation sequencing. We will do all these topics in detail but for atomic trial these terms are important to understand. So when it is DMMR colorectal cancer or MSI H colorectal cancer, this comprises of 10 to 15 percent of non-metastatic colorectal cancers they display resistance to 5-FU or fluoropyrimidines and that is why immune checkpoint inhibitors have been approved in metastatic setting in deficient mismatch repair gene cancers. And that is why atomic trial is a randomized trial of standard chemotherapy alone or in combination with immunotherapy as adjuvant therapy for R0 rejected stage 3 colon cancer with deficient mismatch repair. So now you can understand that this title covers nearly everything about the inclusion criteria of this trial. So now things are fairly routine. So when we discuss atomic trial, it's a randomized multicenter open label phase 3 study. 
and eligibility criteria like i said is r0 rejected histologically confirmed stage 3 colon adenocarcinoma with deficient mismatch repair no prior chemotherapy or radiation they have done substratification in the low risk and high risk group in stage 3 so now you know that low risk group is t1 to t3 and node 1 whereas high risk is t4 and node 2 right what is the regime? You randomize them. The therapy needs to start within 10 weeks of surgery. That is an important point. And Folfox with atezolizumab followed by six months of atezolizumab alone vis-a-vis -vis modified Folfox 6 for six months. So these are the two arms. Primary endpoint is disease-free survival and secondary endpoint is overall survival and adverse event profile. When we see baseline characteristics after randomization, we can see that the characteristics are more or less same. So the baseline characteristics are well balanced between the two study arms. If you want, you can go through the details of these table. But what essentially we mean is that if you compare these parameters, like T4 disease is 112 versus 114, so well balanced, no two disease. These are the high risk groups. 129 versus 132, again well balanced. So high risk group and low risk groups are well balanced when it comes to rejected stage 3 colon cancer. So primary endpoint disease-free survival is very good. 86% for the combination therapy versus 76% for the modified Folfox 6. The significance value is less than 0 0.0001. So that is very significant. So it has definitely demonstrated a statistically significant and clinically meaningful 50% risk reduction in recurrence or death when compared to chemotherapy alone. When they saw the adverse event profile, there was only an increase in incidence of non-fibrile neutropenia. Other than that, the safety profile has been good. And that is why this atomic trial or combination of Folfox with atezolizumab is considered to be practice changing and a new standard treatment for patients who have been rejected stage 3 colon cancer with deficient MMR. Advances, this is how chemotherapy has also progressed in colon cancer and this is how immunotherapy is progressing. Came in the metastatic setting, now we got it into the adjuvant setting in the DMMR group. And now we are having studies like NISH2 in NEJM 2024, NISH3 in 2024, NeoPRISM trial, and there is another trial that was in NEJM 2025, Dostal Lima. All of these trials are looking at neoadjuvant immunotherapy in combination like Neolumab, Ipilimumab, or Pembrolizumab alone, or Dostal Lima alone. These trials have also shown that the results are better with neoadjuvant immunotherapy alone in deficient MMR colon cancer. So the same subgroup of patients as the atomic trial. Thank you.